okay so welcome back to another video um, in this video I'm going to hopefully try and show you how to remove the pre-cap pipe which if nobody is sure is this one right here um, you need one of these on for your MOT but on the course of the Ektar there's actually two you have this that comes straight off the turbo uh, and then it goes into your second cap underneath the second cap I'm leaving on because my MOT is due this week um, but the car has had a new exhaust on um, there'll be another video on that soon um, but I want to get a remap as well before I show you um, obviously what that uh, sounds like but I'll add a little video anyway with it on because I want to show you what it sounds like with the pre-cat and without the pre-cat just so people can make up their mind themselves um, I have to excuse my voice because I'm a little um, <coughs> poorly at the minute so bear with me um, this is the pre-cat that we're going to put on right here uh, so universal, well not universal but it's made specifically for this car so uh, it should be good and you've got the uh, screw off part just here, this is for your O2 sensor which comes straight off, you've also got the gasket, the bolts and that um, this should take no more than roughly about an hour I'd say uh, this is your O2 sensor this is what screws into that uh, little pocket so first off you want to get your car jacked up you're going to need a 21mm spanner, a few iron keys, torque wrench, a few other bits and bobs. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my car up on axle stands, because uh, obviously safety first, because you are going to need to get underneath the car to, to help you out a lot. So uh, I'll see you again soon. Uh, just a quick little hint, if you can't get your trolley jack underneath, I've got a low profile trolley jack, but for me it catches underneath and I, I don't like it scraping. Uh, get small bricks and just literally roll up onto them. I've done it on both sides. Gives you uh, the tracks room to get your trolley jack under. I've now got enough room to get under one side. Um, don't worry, I'm not using just a jack. I've got an axle stand underneath. Um, the jack's just there just as a precaution because I'm only jacking up one side because I can get um, underneath easy. So now your first thing what you want to do is you want to look down here. Uh, you want a 21mm spanner or wrench I'd say it uh, would be better to take this off uh, be very careful I would say unclip it first from here so your wires aren't twisting as you are doing it um, and then that's your first step okay so that is that removed uh, this side literally just unclips easy you just push that down uh, and it unclips and pulls straight out be very careful when you're you know, messing with these because the slightest knock can um, knock them off and if you don't put it all back in properly no tight your engine management light will come on uh, and that's going to be a bigger problem but before you go any further make sure that your O2 sensor fits in the desired part properly uh, because you'll be taking all that off for no reason as you can see it fits it just needs tightening up properly so that's uh, a bonus um, so put that to one side you can just disconnect it from the bottom here but uh, Personally, I'd unclip it because then your wires aren't twisting. As mentioned before, um, I'm going to cause damage to your wires, so I'll get back to you with the next bit. Okay, so uh, under the car, this might be a little bit awkward because for some reason my camera decides to zoom in. Uh, but this is your next option right here. This is your actual pre cat that connects to your secondary cat, which is just here and runs all the way down. As you can see, if you look to the new part, that's where the new exhaust is. This is what you're going to need for your MOT. You can get sports cats, but uh, I've not done that yet. If you want to remove that, this is also your O2 sensor again for this second one, but I'll probably do another tutorial once I uh, get that out of the way. So uh, once you come down here, you've got three bolts. You've got one, two, then you have one just here, three. Uh, some of these might be very rusty, so if I was you, I'd put some WD-40 on it um, and uh, just leave it for five minutes, let it loosen up a little bit. Um, you're going to need, a, obviously, a socket set. Uh, just, I'm not entirely sure what uh, size you need at this moment in time, but I will confirm it in a minute. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and remove these, um, and I'll get back to you soon. Okay, so for the bolts underneath, you want a 13mm uh, socket set, and you'll also want an extension for the socket that's awkward to get to. Uh, mine was really, really rusted and tight, so WD-40 and a bit of... Um, brute force it came off so now you want a um, 8 mil bit obviously extension you want to undo this bit here it's got like a little spring underneath 
um, and loosen that until it comes off like the spring loosens out um, I'll get back to you in a minute okay so I'm trying to show this best I can um, but once you've took the top bit off um, you've got a little screw here uh, to the uh, heat shield unscrew that if it don't come off on one end just get a good whack with an hammer as you can see it's now loose it will literally just lift off and pull straight out um, this is the part you want to be connecting it to you should have the old gasket just in here like the seal you can just see it there um, so yeah I'm going to take this off uh, and show you what it looks like without it and then we'll uh, basically to get it back on you just reverse your, your process uh, but I'll talk you through it so see you soon okay so uh, before you go any further I've just tried to put the pipe on uh, and this little heat shield things in the way literally 13 mil wrench two screws off check that out it's literally next to this pipe you'll see it uh, this is on 2014 plate car so it could be different okay see you soon okay so uh, now you can see I've got the old pre-cut off and this is the new one we're going to be putting in you can see the big difference uh, the main reason to do this you can actually add quite a lot of horsepower and throttle response um, it's, it's needed for a remap or it's recommended because you've got more of a flow if you look inside here it's just literally a straight through pipe um, look inside this one you can't really see maybe if you look there look you've got like a filter this basically filters out all your gases so that's not going to let you have any pops bangs or anything else like that um, it's also going to prevent airflow going through so it's the easiest mod one of the cheapest mods to do uh, you can add your I've heard up to about 15 brake horsepower so you know it's cheap simple to do yourself it takes about an hour so yeah, uh, now to get it back on, I'm just going to reverse the process. So, um, excuse cars going by, but yeah, uh, you want to save this O-ring uh, because you'll reuse that for this, just here, to go straight back on, just to give you a tighter seal. Um, yeah, and I'll get back to you soon. Okay, so I know it's a bit dark under here, but I'm trying to uh, show you as good as possible. This is the O-ring sort of thing that you took this spring off earlier. Um, now, what you want to do is your new a uh, cap pipe needs to sit inside of this ring. I don't know if you can see um, Just in there You can see like it's got like a little lip So it needs to sit inside the actual seal itself. This is what gives it an extra seal If you don't you're gonna have problems you can have boost problems you can hear leaking, but uh, we'll test for that later um, So yeah, I'm gonna put that in place put uh, this back in to hopefully hold it uh, And I'll get back to you in a minute Okay, so it's getting a, a little bit dark now. I did sort this a little bit late, but we're underneath the car. Uh, just tighten your three bolts. Uh, I would recommend putting your O2 sensor back in before you put this on, but don't clip it into the electrics, uh, just because the fact that there's not actually much room at the top. Um, so yeah, these are all three tightened. Make sure you put your gasket on as well. Make sure it's all the right way around. Um, back out of the car. Um, make sure you tighten this back up first. It's really awkward to get back on. Um, but yeah, and then once you've done that, you obviously you've got your O2 sensor in, make sure that's tightened in, plug it all back in, um, and you're ready for a start up uh, to test it. Okay, so uh, I waited till the next day because it was a bit dark um, to actually film anything, so um, it's all fitted, it's all sorted. Uh, we're going to turn it over now. Uh, you need to listen for some leaks, you might not hear any leaks. Um, but uh, if you don't, that means you've pretty much sealed it very well. You can actually feel from as well around the um, clamp. Uh, I would say be very careful when tightening your clamp because it is easy to overturn. And they are 45 to £50 pound from Vauxhall. Uh, that's from your turbo to your pre-cat. So make sure everything's lined up. I would recommend two people doing it as it is hard to hold your pre-cat in place and to put it in at the same time. Um, as well, if you can't get a seal on it very well, uh, you can use some... Um, exhaust sealant to put it between your gaskets uh, to just to help it seal it all a bit more that'll harden over time but yeah this is what it sounds uh, with no uh, leaks so this has obviously got the power flow exhaust on as well so it will sound a bit different um, but yeah um, here we go I'll give it a little rev in a second but uh, I would also say that um, once you have put the pre-cut on do not turn the key until you um, have put your O2 sensor back on because if you do you'll get an engine management light and again if you don't have the equipment to put that ticket off it will cost you a bit of money so that is a 
sound of it as well with the sports exhaust. So yeah, that's how you fit a pre-cut. Um, thank you for watching. Um, I've got some other videos coming up in the future. I've ordered um, a stereo for this. I've took this carbon fibre wrap off because I didn't really like it. I want to add some different on it. I think I'm going to go matte black, but um, I'll find out soon. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.